Hello everybody, it's me, Naomi, and I am <laughs> at my desk and wanted to show you. I'm so excited. I am working on bugs, birds, and insects in the backyard. It's a working title, but I'm going to show you all of my um, pages that I've done so far and I think I have discovered my art style, which is very exciting. So <laughs> look at these. Um, it's going to be maybe about 32 pages, 8 by 10, uh, children's illustrated um, book. Children's illustrated picture book, that's what they call it. So these are my flies. Oh my gosh, look at these guys. They are so adorable. Um, so I just use, these have always been my favorite tools and I've just never been happy with the way I use them. This is the uh, six, move myself over so you can see that. The 6B pencil, which I made larger, and the Qual brush, which is a watercolor brush, and again, I've adjusted it a little bit. And this one I'm going to copy and try to make the edges rounder. I did a little bit here, but um, so those are my two main brushes that I use, and these are two little flies on some calla lilies and oh I just adore these flies they are so cute and here's my layers I've got the little eyes here in fact I can lower that merge down and it's yeah let me merge down I I, I did this fly and loved the eyes look at those eyes they are so cute I love the eyes so I had to change his eyes so I have the fly here that fly there I wanted two different angles on these flies. I have the calla lilies on a layer, the branches on a layer, and then the background on a kind of cream layer just to um, give it some color in the background. But I really wanted the flies to pop. And so I haven't chosen the wording yet, but that's these are my flies. They're so awesome. And they, they feel like... The Hungry Little Caterpillar type artwork, which absolutely I adore that author and his books. Um, so this is digitally painted or drawn, however you want to call it. So let's go back to, this is my uh, working cover. I like that I have this really cool uh, brown um, I was thinking dragonfly, butterfly, I'm not sure, but it's a bug. And it's very cool with the brown. Uh, and then some little flowers, a couple of ladybugs, the sun, and this great background, which I'm absolutely adoring. Everything's going to be very up close because it is a children's illustrated book. And I have some silkworms here. These are awesome. Uh, very, very colorful. Look at that. I just think they're so great. And so my plan is back here so my plan is bugs birds and insects in the backyard and I'll put a little something on each one as to of course what they are and um, where you likely would see them in the backyard very simple this is the first page that I did here the ladybug oh my gosh I love these guys look at them see this one to me totally feels very um, oh my gosh what is it called when you cut the paper out and you glue it down? <laughs> Which is what the Hungry Little Caterpillar author does with his artwork. Now this, this is the effect I went with and I just love that it is different and the eyes are pulled in different directions but you clearly see that it is a ladybug and you clearly see that it's flowers and leaves in the background. So just really having a blast with this very excited these I think well I don't know earthworms are very awesome these are my earthworms look at these guys aren't they great and I wanted it not to be so obvious like really defined and really detailed I really want the eyes to go oh there's the the earthworm and look there's one coming out of a hole isn't that great and I've got a little bit of a contrasting pinkish color in the background but you can still very much see these little earthworms and these guys praying mantis oh my gosh look at these guys aren't they awesome so 
Um, sorry, I was distracted. I'm practicing doing a video of me so you can see me in the corner while I'm showing you these this artwork. So I'm working on it. Videoing, videoing, YouTubing and videoing is not my thing. Uh, I would prefer to do this, but I want to develop a um, a class so that I can show kids how to do this because oh my gosh my um, granddaughter is six I digress for a moment if you bear me that is six six seven she's anyways six or seven but like going on 13 right she does amazing artwork she creates books and all kinds of stuff and I thought oh my gosh that would be such a great thing to do is show kids how to do this so um, I figure okay if I'm gonna do that I better get online more and really get serious with this YouTube and videoing and that kind of stuff. So I'm working on it. Anyways, look at these grasshoppers. No, praying mantis. I said grasshoppers, praying mantis. So I've got a praying mantis there, praying mantis there. And then this one, I already um, brought the layers down. So I just love the background, but you can clearly see the praying mantis. And I know they're praying mantis because my grasshoppers are my grasshoppers, mosquitoes, crane fly, grasshopper and cricket. Here we go. There we go. See that? And um, these are my flowers. And you can see the grasshopper right there. And the, sorry, I'm backwards. The cricket right there and the grasshopper right there. Anyways, oh my gosh, I'm loving these. So that's just a little little clip I'm going to YouTube and do my practice video where I try and put myself in one of those little bubbles in the corner of the screen and you can see what I'm doing. Uh, let's see, so I have how many pages? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20 pages. These are my walking sticks. Let me just show you these guys. <gasps> Aren't they awesome? They're so awesome. So that's my work in progress. Just giving you a glimpse of what I'm doing. And then this one was thinking I'm going to create a repeating pattern. I've got my silkworms, walking stick, snail, um, caterpillar. <laughs> These are uh, flies right here. Can you see that? Look at those. Oh my gosh, I love these flies. Oh, he's behind, so I'm gonna have to erase uh, or add a little bit. See his face? I'm gonna have to add that. I'm working on it. It's in progress, but wouldn't that make a great kid's bedspread? That's what I'm working on. And I gotta fill some other animals, but instead of dragging over um, some other characters or creatures that I've already created, I wanna see what other animals I'm gonna create because got my book. Bear with me real quick. So I have right here a list of my creatures that I want to create. If you can see that. This is the first page that I've already created each one of these um, creatures or animals. Why am I calling them creatures or animals? And this one is, so I still have catty did, cicada, firefly, spider, bee, all the fun ones apparently I put in the back. Wasp, aphid, cutworm, <clears throat> lace bug, dragonfly. So I still got a whole bunch of other characters to create. So I'm going to work on that next. Let me get back to my main page. Aren't these guys awesome? My little ants. Let me show my ants. Oh, so exciting. So again, I haven't decided on the words because I'm going to look them up and put a little, just a little bit of information because it is just a kid's illustration book. So I don't want to overwhelm it with stuff, but you might find ant, like where would you see ants in the um, backyard? Like, you know, if there's crumbs of food and things like that. So that's what I'm working on now. Hello, it's voiceover Naomi, and I just wanted to say thank you for watching. I am going to show you how I create my little silkworms. They're so cool, and this has been so much fun and such a joy 
being very confident in my art style now. Can't wait to correct some books I've already made and put out online. Um, I think I'm going to pull them all off the shelf and start fresh. I'm very excited. Stay tuned. Watch this process. Click in the end, subscribe, do all the likes, and comment below. I can't wait to hear your thoughts. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.